there are things that we are capable of and there are things that are beyond our capabilities when it comes to content creation however i think the bifurcation between the two is not very clear i think the restrictions we impose upon ourselves go beyond what we are truly bound by something quite interesting happened to me over the past several months unbeknownst to me the way i used my wardrobe for the video why i wear the same outfit every day set in motion the creation of a mini studio of sorts recurring for most of the videos that came after today's video is in two parts one why i started using my wardrobe as a makeshift studio and two how If you'd like to skip ahead to the how, I'll leave the timestamps pinned in the comments below. And in what may be the first of many, there is a little challenge later on in this video as well. So, objectively speaking, my channel is nothing but just me sharing my thoughts. And while there are trendier formats that people utilize to get more views and subscribers, I for one find those methods quite difficult and unsustainable for myself. Having said that I do understand the importance of visuals when it comes to the art of storytelling and hence every so often I've incorporated craft props as well as dramatized scenes being a huge advocate of doing things that come naturally it was essential to me that I didn't incorporate elements that I wouldn't be able to sustain in the long term eventually resulting in inconsistencies through the process of trial and error and my natural affinity towards minimalism I quite literally opened the door towards a setup I would be extremely grateful for With a few adjustments and behavioral change I was able to tweak my wardrobe for the purpose of visually facilitating my narratives. The wardrobe provided a near perfect canvas where I could employ a variety of everyday objects and visually improve what I already had. I hope you understand that I stumbled upon my wardrobe out of the restrictions I felt, the limitations I thought I had. That not having a studio to shoot at was unacceptable to me. The only option I had in that case was to just figure it out. Now coincidentally I do wear the same outfit every day and that has over the years resulted in a very simplified wardrobe for me to do this. 15 black t-shirts, 7 trousers that synergize well and 6 pajamas. I've managed to get rid of everything that doesn't bring me joy or any utility whatsoever. Having said that I do have specific outfits for occasions like traveling or weddings and such but those are neatly tucked away in the lower compartments. As for my everyday outfit, they're neatly placed up top, easy to reach since I don't have to expend time and energy in pairing them anymore. To know more about this, you can watch my video why I wear the same outfit every day. What started out as a supplement to my narratives became the primary focus in one of my videos, how I write my YouTube scripts. And eventually a couple of my friends asked me to make a video on this particular aspect, so here we are. So before we start rearranging our wardrobes, you got to ask ourselves, what is the purpose? The answer to that will lead us to the elimination of every inconsequential element when it comes to the narrative. I strive to make sure that every element in my frame is taking the story forward either by supporting what's being said or by bringing about a certain visual balance. In its natural state when I'm not using my wardrobe, it looks like this. As I have to get that bag out any way to take my camera, I'm ready with the mini studio almost immediately. It's a common blunder to assume that minimalism means eliminating everything and being left with space. I don't think that's true. I think it's about understanding what's essential. I think Hans Hofmann summed it up quite well when he said, "The ability to simplify means to eliminate the unnecessary so that the necessary may speak." And this space is exactly that, a space for the necessary to speak. And since most of my videos are but my thought process and my thought process relies on texts and notes, I'm able to maintain the uniformity throughout my videos. I leave the center stage vacant for that independent variable as and when it's required. It also helps if you've been conscious about your color choices, but that's not really important right now. A picture is worth a thousand words, and that's where the visuals in the wardrobe come into play. It's essential that we understand what the story or the script is about, and what can better represent that tiny bit visually. When it comes to directing the focus, I find post-its to be simply the best. You can use craft paper, ties, or even clothes to introduce different colors and textures. I'll be honest, the combination of things we can use is limited, but only by what we can imagine. There's a definite learning curve and trial and error by researching and by doing is the only way forward. Technically speaking, depending on the lens you have and the size of your wardrobe, you'll be able to use three angles with varying heights. When it comes to lighting, a dedicated source is definitely superior to your room lights and I would recommend investing in one, but in the meantime, your room lights might just be good enough. 
I am but just one person and there are only so many examples that I can provide. So in light of that and to take this video a step ahead and to showcase the different ways in which one can work with their wardrobes, I'm kicking off a hashtag as well as a challenge. Hashtag SB wardrobes. The challenge in itself is pretty simple. All you have to do is set your wardrobe and create something you like. It could be a photo, a series of photos or a video. Tag me and add the hashtag SB wardrobes and I'll announce the winner by 7th July on my Instagram. I think the hashtag will be an interesting way to see how everyone else is working with their wardrobes as well. The winner will have an option between coffee beans of my choice or my dedicated help with their YouTube channel for a month. I hope that you're able to identify one such space in your immediate surroundings. It doesn't have to be a wardrobe, but it has to be something which is convenient for you so that you focus on what it is that you're doing as opposed to whether you'll be able to do it. Whatever that space is for you, I hope that it helps you tell your story better. Understand that it's completely normal to not be able to find it in your first attempt. So don't let that failure dishearten you. I'll always be one comment or a DM away if you do need help. So feel free to share your queries, any or all of them. I truly hope you got something out of this video and I hope I was able to entertain your face. Thank you so much for your time and as always, 